Real change isn't just about policies or presentation or organization or even, dare I say it, having a young, vigorous, energetic leader. Although, <laughs> come to think of it, it's not such a bad idea. In these past 10 months, we have moved back to the ground on which this party's success was always built, the center ground of British politics, and that is where we're going to stay. There's been quite a lot of talk of lurching. And I can tell you, we're not going to be lurching to the left. We're not going to be lurching to the right. We are just going to provide the good, solid leadership that this country needs. Just think about it. If we really listen to this argument about experience, we would never change a government, ever. We would have, wait for it, we'd have Gordon Brown as Prime Minister forever. But for me and Samantha, this year will only ever mean one thing. When such a big part of your life suddenly ends, nothing else, nothing outside matters at all. It's like the world stops turning and the clocks stop ticking. I want to thank Nick Clegg for what he did. Nick and I didn't agree about everything. He wanted clearer pledges on PR. I wanted them on the family. When I told him what I really thought about the European Parliament, he said, my God, it's much worse than I thought. <laughs> it wasn't that some people thought we shouldn't do what we did. That is their right. That is a point of view. It was that so many people actually thought Britain couldn't do something like that anymore. When I used to push my son Ivan around in his wheelchair, I used to think that too many people saw the wheelchair and not the boy. I think today more people would see the boy and not the wheelchair, and that's because of what happened in Britain this summer. Who <laughs> presided over mid-staffs? Patients left for so long without water they were drinking out of dirty vases. People's grandparents lying filthy and unwashed for days. Who allowed that to happen? Yes, it was Labour. And don't you dare lecture anyone on the NHS again. <laughs> With a Conservative government, we will raise the threshold at which people pay the 40p rate. It is currently £41,900. In the next Parliament, we will raise it to £50,000. <laughs>